Today we're gonna get rid of those planaria or those flatworms in your reef tank. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes. Now today we're gonna get rid of some flatworms or planaria from my tank. And I've had a few of these little guys, they're about orange, about anywhere from two to six millimeters. Super tiny little flatworms. Now, they don't actually cause any harm to the tank. They're basically free fish food. I haven't seen a single one in my display. That could be because I have two wrasses and it's basically a, just a snack for them. But there are some in my sump in my frag rack, so I do want to get rid of them. So what we're going to do is treat the tank with flatworm exit. And what this stuff will do, it's a toxin to the flatworms, but not, not your fish or corals. So they'll be perfectly fine through this treatment. And now a couple things to note. When you do treat, you want to take, turn off your carbon, your GFO, all your other filtration, your ozone, and just want your power heads and your pumps running. Uh, you can leave your skimmer on because this will remove any of the toxins as they die. Now before you actually treat the tank, make sure that carbon's ready. It's also a good idea to have about 20% water change water ready just in case. I have a brute can already mixed up. Now the other big thing is you want to remove as many as possible before you actually treat the tank. So what I've been using is made this little kind of tool, just some hard air line and that so I can suck them out. It's very low flow, but it's enough to suck those little guys out. So sucking out as many as possible. And even when we're treating, if you see some around the tank, just suck them out because it's going to be less toxin in the water to deal with afterwards. So let's start by turning off, make sure the water flows off to our carbon, our GFO. The ozone's already off. All right guys, so let's dump some of this in the tank and let's try it out. Now these flatworms don't actually hurt anything. Um, I have seen some tanks that were very overrun and they'll pretty much just block coral from receiving light. They don't actually eat it or do anything else like acro-eating flatworms. All right, so I got the cap filled up. First dose and... Second dose. So now the tank's dosed, we just want to keep an eye on the tank for the next few hours to make sure there's no harmful issues. I'm really amazed how quick this stuff's working. It's literally been, I'm going to say, probably five, minute, five to ten minutes max and then already starting to float around everywhere. Look at that, it's crazy. It's like a freaking snowstorm of planarian here. They're like the karate kid trying to catch little things out of the air with chopsticks. We suck these guys out as they dine off and floating around. Now there is a few floating around the main tank and it looks like the fish are just basically snacking on them. So it's now been about half an hour. I'm not seeing any planaria in my sump anywhere. Um, there's the odd one that was kind of floating there, but there's been nothing that I can find that's crawling around. So I think that stuff did a really good job and really darn quick. Um, so now it's been about that half an hour, 40 minute, turn my carbon back on. And this will absorb any potential toxins that may have been released. Probably wait about an hour or so and then I'm going to do about a 20 gallon water change. Then we should be good to go. So, so far, um, very impressed by the product. It worked fast. I'm not sure if there's eggs or anything that might come back. If there is, I might have to treat the tank again in a week or two just to kill off any potential newly hatched ones. Aside from that, I mean, all the corals, fish, nothing looks affected at all. So that makes me happy. Now, my infestation wasn't that bad. I saw absolutely zero in the tank. They're all in the sump area. But either way, at least we got them taken care of and my tank went back to pristine as just how I like it. If you guys enjoyed this, smash that like button. If you want to pick some up, I'll leave a link in the comment below. And if you're new here, make sure you guys subscribe. Catch you guys on the next video.